Welcome back to some more Farm Fates Conquest. So last time we did... Ooh, we got to see a trust. Cool. Uh, okay, that was... That definitely interrupted my intro, but anyway. So yeah, welcome back to more Farm Fates Conquest. So last time we did... The first invasion. Invasion one. That one pretty good. Those two don't have a support. Okay. They might be close to one now. Alright, let's get our stuff here. And then milk. Now let's see what the lorry is going to give us. Oh, a silver prize. A bronze dagger, okay. Probably give that to Jacob instead of the cool pen. Um, that means too we can forge that later, which would be nice. Which, yeah, I probably will do because yeah, dagger units are pretty good in this game, so yeah. Anyway, we're probably going to be feeding a lot of that milk we just got, so yeah. Anyway, see a trust. You can use that with two pet up units and they'll get a p support point, basically. It's really nice. Um, I'm not so sure how I'm going to use it later. I really should think about using it. Maybe I won't at the same time as well. We shall see. But anyway. Get the gold bar, which is good because I believe, yeah, we might want tonics on next map. And in fact, I'm going to be showing a very important tip when playing Farm Fates Conquest. Anyway, I want to forge axes today, so yeah, let's bet the sapphire. And you'll use size again because I'm more faith in them, especially because of damage. <laughs> And there you go, that's one more. Finally! So now, yeah, I can forge a um, bronze axe. Also, first off, let's go here. Elise, Mozu, and Niles. The game was for Elise, so why not? Big sister! I want to get stronger so I can protect the people I love. Like you! But yeah, I was thinking about this too. A lot of these early game units, um, because we don't have too many units at the moment, yeah, they'll be able to get some good support from the Prime Corps, which is nice. But anyway, alright, where's my forge? It's on the left side. So yeah, let's do that. Although, yeah, I'm going to need to buy another Bronze Axe then. Which, uh, yeah, I guess we can do that. Actually, do I have the bronze axe? I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, so yeah, uh, I bought that last time. Welcome. So yeah, we're gonna forge a bronze axe for um Elise, because she can make good use of that. Once again, we're gonna be continuing the theming, and we're gonna be calling this the uh <laughs> Again, all these weapons need all the weapons in Persona 1. I'm gonna call this one the Guten Tag. So there you go. Thanks. We can also trade the weapon around, which is nice too. And yeah, I'm gonna give it to Leech just because, yeah, I feel like her with a little bit extra damage is gonna be very nice next time. But anyway. So I said I'm gonna show a tip for playing this game. Which is kind of important. You basically want to check the map and check for whatever benchmarks you're gonna need. So yeah. Another thing I'm thinking about too is, um, I think I'm going to get the Iron Lance to Silas, because Silas is going to be like the main unit. Odin should be fine. Nile should be fine. Because, yeah, he's probably going to be pairing out Moose, because again, I'm going to be greedy and try to get a lot of support points the next up. But yeah, it's a greedy thing, so yeah. Plus, actually, no, there's one more thing I want to do. Nestle. Again, though, we want to save. How good is Elise? Uh, uh. I'm just too much for ya. I don't have faith, but anyway. <laughs> Let's see what she made. <laughs> Same way, half the army got strip plus one, all units got lot plus one. And yeah, we got 
He actually hit a lot of good units, so uh, yeah, that's good. And yeah, luck could be nice the next map too, so yeah. Um, but yeah, it's only for all affected units, okay. So yeah. Too bad um, Rohana didn't get the boost because yeah, she could really well want it for something we want to do on the next map, but yeah. Anyway, time to check for any benchmarks because we're going to need to do that. So let's go to the next map and see what we need. So we're going to go to chapter 10 now. Unhappy reunion. The group passes through Fort Dragonfall, liberating Azura, who had been taken prisoner there. Meanwhile, the Hoshin army remains hot on the trip. Let's go. So we're gonna be going to the stuff, and then we're gonna leave him. But I'll show up the story first. And yeah, I'm taking this up seriously because the yeah, last time, yeah, I felt like I needed a little extra when I was practicing this map. So here's the port town of Dia. We finally made it to the port. So far, so good. From here, on, from here, we can catch a ferry to Nortra suggests. Jake was off making the arrangements as we speak. I see. Wonderful. We should all take this rail to cheat for a bit. Zura in particular looks exhausted. Hmm. I know this too. Well, it hasn't been an easy journey here, but there's also, well, let's just say, Lady Elise has grown awfully fond of her. In fact, Lady Elise has taken has been talking to her almost non-stop since they met. Lady Azura is very polite, but I worry all that chatter is wearing her out. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a point. Poor Azura. Poor Azura doesn't stand a chance. Once Elise gets going, it's hard to stop her. She's a one-woman stampede. <laughs> it's as though she's trying to make up for all the sibling time to miss down. It's rather heartwarming when you think about her. <laughs> sibling time, eh? Hmm. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Rahan. I didn't mean to remind you of her own siblings at Hoshno. Please forgive me for making such an insensitive comment. No. Oh, don't worry about it. I was actually thinking of something else. I was thinking about what Azura said earlier, or what she almost said. Is she not Elise's sister after all? Once more. What's wrong, Rohana? Oh. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I was just lost in thought. <laughs> um. Lost in thought alone. Are you sure there's nothing? Oh, look at that. Jacob has returned. That's strange. It appears to be out of breath. I wonder what's wrong. We have trouble. But lady, we have an emergency situation on our hands. Hoshtan forces are headed our way. They shall arrive momentarily. <sighs> the Hoshtan's here? Jacob, are you sure? Yes. I'm afraid so. I overheard as much from a guard on my way here. The guard also said all fairies are being detained until they left. What would you like to do, lady? <sighs> Fang is our only option. We had to beat them and get on that ferry. It's the only way we'll be able to carry out father's mission. Hey? What's wrong, Leo Rohana? Yeah. When you fought the Hoshans and fought Dragonfall, they were only strangers. I haven't had to face Ryoma or the others, not since that fateful day when I... I know it's inevitable, but the four I find my blood settings, I just... Um. Lady Rohana, I hate to see you in such agony. None of us would judge you if you chose not to engage in battle against your siblings. Instead of tormenting yourself, why don't we just turn around and go home? No. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Sooner or later, we all must face the consequences of our actions. I knew this to happen when I followed my heart inside my Norian family. I must stand behind that decision no matter what. I will not run. Understood. I'll let the others know what's happened so you can prepare for battle. Yes. Please do. Making up for lost time and lost siblings, the Balvia is a poor place for that. Perhaps in another life things could turn out differently. Please forgive me, Ryoma Takumi. Please forgive me. And your family and Hoshido now pay for your betrayal. Here he is. Uh. Is that talk me? Well, he's not just fine, he's leading the whole army. I still, I meant what I said. Even if talk me is involved, we must defend this port. This is Norian territory. I won't allow the Hoshidos to take our homeland from us. Lord Takumi. It seems the Norians aren't going back down. Uh -huh. Say Panophilus, do they? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Norians aren't like normal decent people. They live for the thrill of battle. All the better. I should delight in putting those cowards in their place. Yes. It always it looks like there's only a handful of them anyway. It should be an easy win. True. Agreed. Even so it's never good to underestimate one's enemy. 
I refuse to lose to the Norns, especially with that while well, that traitorism on their ranks. We must prevail for the sake of Hoshta and all that is good in the world. Oh boy, chapter 10. One of the most interesting maps in the entire series. It's a full-on defend the map. And yeah, I mean that when I say that. Say, I'm just checking. So say one, two, three, four, five, say eight. Rahana can reach that no matter what, so that's good. So yeah, again, I want to check the enemy benchmarks, basically. So yeah, I'm like, parry my units up, and I'm going to be checking stuff. Hey, one fun thing I could actually do is, um, with Odin, I can actually fly him over here and he can take on these guys. Alright, Odin's the easy one, because all he really needs to do is fight off these guys. He has 11 magic, 19 attack, he does 18 damage, and yeah, there's no way you can make that one hit KO at the moment, so yeah, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just going to, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, Parrot gives one. So she has um, 11 strength. And the Goontog 20 attack against these guys, that's gonna be 10 damage. So he does like 5. So yeah, it does mean that with Odin, we can't kill these guys in one round, I'm pretty sure is what that means. But that's okay. Um, all that really matters is that, well, we tank them. But anyway, what about some other enemies? So first off, one of these guys attack 18. Paired up, 17. Okay, so we can actually go and paired up. Also, to double them, we need 13. Which is actually one speed off. Interesting. Because of... What is he uh, Apparently, F gives one speed on parrot. That's interesting. But yeah, one thing I did learn, though, last time, is that we were basically, like, one damage off of killing these dudes with a dual strike. So yeah, I think it's still gonna work. Out. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that turn one. Mozu, all right. I'm gonna have her fight these archers. She doubles them. She takes 18 damage from them. She gets to it, which isn't great. So yeah, she probably wants a board. Okay, so do we bring all these units? We could bring Jacob for healing, but at the same time, it may not, it may not even be possible because you're moving around so much on this map that healing might not even help you. That's where High Taka could come in, so yeah, I'll think about that. Instead, you probably want to be using um, healing items instead. So, what's Arthur's HP? He's 31 HP, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a concoction. So I'm going to do that. And then yeah, Rohana can have the vulnerary, and then yeah, like I said, I think Mosey wants a vulnerary, so I'm gonna do that. Um, Azura definitely doesn't need a vulnerary, so I'll give that to Silas. But yeah, I'll think about Hyde Talker, because again, he has this skill, right, defense. But yeah, now, time for the other important benchmark, which is um, these guys. So first off, uh, let's switch to Arthur. Remember that, um, oh, so I can't do that yet. Because I really need to know what <laughs> the para bonuses are, so maybe I just start this map and then find that out. Because yeah, you can't change where Rohan is deployed, so yeah, that's kind of annoying. Because yeah, I mean, what's his attack at the moment? It's 22 attack with the Bronze Axe, the Unforged Bronze Axe, and yeah, he is getting the Strengthless one. So he has like 22 attack, he gets 24, because yeah, I'm thinking about actually first off, I need to switch his weapon. Again, I'm thinking a lot about this one. But yeah, it's really annoying that I can't see that. I might just start the map and find out what Arthur's like paired up, because I really need to know. So you know what, I'm going to do just that, because it's going to help so much with this map, with that information. Also, another thing I could check, how much damage they do to the wall. So anyway, he has 19 strength, but that's 22 because of the personal skill. Or, well, it's basically plus 2 attack to what he currently has. So with a hand axe, he has 28. So, 28 
is enough to one-shot the ninjas with the hand axe, which is good. The problem is... Um, actually, wait a minute. So 22... Hmm, actually... If I give Arthur a strength tank, he one-shots them no matter what, because these guys have steel shurikens, so they debuff your strength if they hit you. But then, if Arthur gets strength debuffed, he still hits them. So, uh, yeah. How much damage do they do? 60. And Arthur has... how much? 12. So... He takes 4, and then he takes 7. So basically 11 damage. If I give him a HP tank, he'll be more steady, so I think I'm going to do that as well. Alright, these guys, does he double them on his own? Is the next question. 12 speed. They have 9. So to double that, you need 14. With a speed tank, he does that. So... Okay. And then the final benchmark, Tarkmi. I'm going to see if I can take out Tarkmi. And then, yeah, I should be talking about these bosses. <laughs> We're actually talking about the map, which is kind of funny. But anyway, also, yeah, another thing I can check, again, Odin. You can always search. But yeah, he does 19 damage. Again, there's no way we can make that a 1-hit key on these dudes, so I'm not going to bother going with Magic Tonic. So, yeah. So, Tarkmi, he has 9 speed. And you have 18. Well, yeah, that's good enough. You have 24 attack. You'll have weapon triangle, so you won't lose any attack. That's, um... So 24 minus 11 is 13. 13 times 2 is 26. So yeah, there's no way you can make that one hit kill. So it's going to have to be enemy phase, him, and then kill him on the next turn. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay. So now I'm going to reset, and we're going to buy a strength and a speed tonic. Alright, we're back. So now, yeah, let's go to the star store. Thanks for stopping by. So, uh, strength tonic. Yeah, these don't cost much. So, yeah. Strength and speed. And we'll use the HP tonic. See you next. That we um, got earlier in the game. Because, yeah, that should mean that Arthur should survive. The, uh, also, another thing I learned too. With Rally Defense, he takes no damage. And that means that the enemies will ignore him. So, that's also good to know. Unless we get debuffed by them. So, yeah, that's another thing that could happen. So, yeah. Anyway, let's juice up Arthur here. So I'll give him a HP type, so he has best by ability, a strength type, and a speed type. A um A defense type could also be considered because he doesn't take zero damage then, and then yeah, he'll have much better defenses. That could also be considered. I'm gonna see how he goes with just the HP type. And if we need the defense type, well we can always do that. But anyway, once again we learned that yeah, Rohana can't one round talk me. Arthur might actually be able to. <laughs> I guess I'll check on the map. But anyway, with those tonics to play, let's go back. I should also check if yeah, he actually does kill the spear fighters with the um bronze axe. That's something I need to check. They are uh, like he has 25 attack. This is unbetter. So you have a 25 attack. He's getting like basically plus four, I think. And yeah. Because yeah, with the speed boost, he now doubles. He is currently 25 attack. Oh yeah, I wanna check with the bronze axe. This is probably nothing I should have checked before. But yeah, 24 attack. What's the defense? Eight. So 16. Yeah, he kills these no matter what. So that's good. He doesn't one shot them though. We need 32 attack. And I don't think he reaches that with the hand axe. So yeah. Okay, so that should be all good. Well, there's another thing I want to check. Eh, uh, I think this is fine. But yeah, I need to talk about Hinata and Ogre as well. But yeah, now, yeah, Arthur can one-shot the ninjas with the hand axe, which is going to be very nice. He can't one-shot the spear fires, but I think that's too lofty a call, so yeah, we're not going to aim for that. Um, but anyway, let's talk about those bosses first off. I also need to talk about how this map works. It's a defend map. If the enemy reaches here, it's game over. But there's also a couple of other things too. A village here, a village here, a village here, and a village here. And yeah, thinking about it, yeah, I don't think we need high top on this map. Because I think we're defensively robust enough, so yeah. That's good. So yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of things too. Like, for example, there's a ballista here. These guys are going to try and rush towards it. 
you've also got some artillery too. If you bring Nyx, you can have her use the Fire Rod. That might not be a bad idea either. Um, because she's kind of squishy. She needs to be trained up a little bit to do a lot on this set, which I haven't, so yeah. That's another thing about this set too. All your units have some good use on this map. So yeah, especially if trained. So yeah, the only is like I said, these guys, we're gonna have Silas and Effie take them on. The archers, those guys are gonna be dealt with um, Mozu and Niles. So yeah, that probably means that yeah, they're gonna do that, then yeah, let's do this. Because yeah, they can one round them on enemy phase, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, that's gonna help out. Now we need to be careful of the Pegasus Knight. So they sometimes won't attack you. Some will, some won't. It's kind of hard to tell what they do. But yeah, they are annoying because if they ignore you, that means that yeah, they're going straight for the objective. So you need to kill them before that happens. So yeah. And yeah, over here we're going to pair it so that we can plant Silas and Effie there so we can go for the dual strike. Yeah, I haven't actually talked about the boss yet, I'm just talking about the regular enemies. The interesting thing about the regular enemies is, even on the higher level place, not much of them have skills. There are some skills you need to be careful of, seal defense on some of the spear fighters, and um, lunge on some of the only savages. And yeah, of course, lunge is very good for them, so yeah, you definitely don't want that. Also, now annoying thing on this app, the ninjas. They have 27 bulk, basically. On normal mode. That's pretty easy to one shot. In fact, my S support Jacob and my practice favor is able to one shot them with the javelin. So that was really nice. The only problem was he had too much defense. But luckily, that's not a problem with Arthur. Arthur doesn't have too much defense, so yeah. He's gonna be able to actually kill these guys in enemy phase, which is really nice. But anyway, let's talk about some other enemies too, like Hinata. So Hinata. Um, he's kind of annoying because he has this, his personal skill. If you drop him below 50% HP and you use a sword, lance, or axe, he'll take some damage, which is not fun. Um, he also has armored blow, which is interesting because that actually can make it so you avoid activating his personal skill, so that's kind of funny. On the higher difficulties, he also has darting blow, and on lunatic, he has movement plus one. And also on the higher difficulties, he starts moving unprovoked. On normal mode, he moves when you provoke him, that's it. So yeah, the other side is Obro, who's dangerous, because she has sealed defense on hard and lunatic, as well as moving plus one lunatic. Here on normal though, it's only seal strip. You need to remember how seal skills work. So seal skills, they will not activate if you kill the unit that they're on. However, dagger debuffs, they will activate as long as you, they land their attack on you. If they miss, it doesn't land. But yeah, then with seal skills, if you fail to kill, even if they miss, they'll seal you. Seal strength is quite bad. It basically means that the unit who gets hit by it is going to be neutered. However, you'll get a very powerful creeper on you, who I don't think cares if they get seal strength. So uh, yeah, on normal at least. So yeah. So that's nice. And yeah, finally, let's talk about the man himself. So Takumi here, he has his personal skill, which doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, over his personal skill, if you don't know, it gives extra damage to Nori enemies, which is gonna basically be everyone on your army. It's plus street damage. But yeah, all you really need to do is just kill him one round, and I have a plan for that. Um, talk to me, let's talk about him. So, he has his Fujin Yumi, a dangerous weapon because of its crit rate. He has quite a lot of crit on you, which isn't fun. He has 11 crit. He has an elixir, this is why you want to kill him as I was thinking. Basically, I'm going to enemy face him and then kill him on the next turn. That's how I'm going to take him out. Arthur could one round him. I guess we'll see if that happens. Um, the problem with doing that is Arthur has a nasty chance of getting crit. So, yeah, that is why I'm a little bit averse to that. Anyway, the thing is, too, he has this. This annoying skill. Point blank. Alters the range of bows to enable this unit to hit close targets. Yep, he has a skill that basically makes that all bows up onto two range, which is extremely annoying. But it does mean that he's actually threatening as a well, so yeah, there you go. He's also staying on the Dragon Vein, he activates on turn 7. What does it do? Well, it's pretty nasty stuff. He drains the water. And what does drain the water do? Well, it makes us that the enemies have more avenues to attack. Because, like this dude for example, let's take this dude. Now you can walk on this water basically and you can get to your defender much quicker. So neutralizing Takumi before then is a valid strategy. It's hard though. I wasn't able to do it on my last complete playthrough, although in my practice playthrough I was. The only problem was everything else. <laughs> I was trying to be greedy and get support points with my units. It made things kind of painful, 
but luckily on this playthrough, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So anyway, I forgot to play these two, but that's okay. Because yeah, we're going to probably do this little fun play. I mean, I don't have to do that. i probably just visit that, and then we just, um, <laughs> just take them out normally. We can also use this as, like, basically a choke point. Because, yeah, they don't have any throwing clubs yet. So, yeah, we can definitely do that, try to get a little bit more, um, combat in on the lease, because that would help us out. I'm gonna do this, so actually first off, I'm gonna have Mozu probably hit this, because yeah, I wanna try breaking this quick. In fact, maybe I'll just go after the enemies immediately, that might not be a bad idea. Then we can heal Arthur, so yeah, that's probably gonna be the play, maybe. <laughs> we can also use this Ballista too, and yeah, with that we might actually be able to kill these guys, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that first. Then maybe we'll um, yeah, there's a lot to think about, but yeah, it'll also depend on how much damage you do to this. You can also use Jacob to break it too, so yeah, that's that as well. Anyway, with that, <laughs> with all that thinking done, let's actually play the damn map. So yeah, defend the greens over 11 times. Yeah, alright, so how much damage do we do? So, you do uh, 24 damage, obviously, and that's the most damage you can do. How about Mr. Arthur? You can do... You can leave on 21, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, that's how much damage Moose does, so you know what? Um, yeah, let's do that. And yeah, then we go Iron Axe. To break the wall. So let's go. But now it means that um, I need to dance for Mozu. And then she's gonna go ahead and use this. Because, yeah, I need her uh, to move kind of quickly, so I'm probably going to be dancing for her next turn. So, yeah, uh, now with that done, we're going to move in Silas with his Iron Lance. Effie has a Bronze Lucker Clip. Bronze Lance Clip, sorry. Um, switch again, separate, and yeah, we know that Silas takes damage from these dudes, which is good. He takes actually kind of a lot. He has less defense than the one in my other playthrough, so yeah. And now Elise is just going to go over here, and we're going to go visit the village. So, there you go. And we're probably going to need you in a bit, so yeah. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, yeah, let's move them. So, how do you do? Yeah, they got killed. Good. Thanks to the um, extra damage. So you go. I won't fail again. And yeah, those um, strength. This meal definitely helped us out a lot, though. Getting a plus, both plus one strength. And yeah, I think I did give Silas a memory, so uh, Thank you. that's obviously going to help him out too, so he can stay alive. Alright, these enemies. So, and they're breaking that. There goes the flyers. Yeah, there's a lot to think about on this map, let's just say. Alright, so yeah, now what do we do? So, um, I really want to kill Mr. Ninja first, so... And luckily, I can do just that. In fact, yeah, he actually gets really close to killing these guys, but I can't give him any more power than this, so uh, yeah. And he only takes one damage. Oh yeah, I forgot about um, the plus one, um, the minus two damage taken, so yeah. The question is, um, Silas so doesn't double them, unfortunately, but he can definitely um, soften them up, which is cool. Um, Yeah. I mean, one thing I can do is just <laughs> go for the hand axe right now. I mean, I don't know actually. There's a lot to think about here. Because, yeah, do I just kill the ninja now so he doesn't debuff anyone? That's probably what I want to do. Because, yeah, the only problem with that is then I can't get Mozu moving up there. But that's another thing we can do to deal with these guys. You'll see what that is in a bit. And I guess, yeah, we'll do that. Luckily, she kills with the Delta Storm, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, actually no, first off I'm gonna do the Arthur, although, yeah, will this, no, it won't lure in Hinata. Alright, give him the hand axe, so there you go, and yeah, even if he gets strength buffed, he still one shots the so there you go. The only problem is if he gets defense, because then they will ignore him, which is very annoying, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's use the Delta Storm and kill this dude. And there you go. That went well. 
And yeah, maybe we'll just have again. They might not be used to kill the archers. Another thing they can do is kill the flies instead that come around this area. So yeah. So I'll do that. And now, yeah, I'm going to kill this dude. Yeah, I get multiple. The good thing though is that, yeah. Um, FBN size cleaned up house on that side. So technically speaking, I could maybe have them go off the Oberon. Problem is, is maybe these goods? Because, yeah, I mean, if, like, if you get stirred up, they're not gonna care that much, so, yeah. Because, yeah, I can put Effie here, and we can immediately start going for uh, over his head, so, yeah. I mean, that's the space, but interesting. Because, yeah, these guys are just gonna ignore us, and they've already, like, I mean, another thing that we could do is maybe intercept these guys, but I think I have another plan for that, so, yeah. Poor Effie. Unfortunately, yeah, that was a bad play on my part. Um, I need to pet into size. But yeah, I'm not going to reset with that. Um, but yeah, I guess um, what I'll do is we'll go here. We'll see if any of the dudes go for us. I don't think they will. I mean, it also gives us a chance to heal size as well. Again, what I should have done, again, pet into Silas because he actually has movement. So yeah. now what I can do is... Oh, my shelf. It will live for one more turn, so yeah. I guess we'll switch to Odin now. Yeah, this town's a Balvo, you say? War and Tardation? It does seem dangerous out there. Alright, I'll lock up tight then. Thanks for the warning, stranger. Here, take this. 10,000 gold. I mean, yeah, I probably should have them. It's not good for Oprah. I'll have them go for, um, the Onis. You. Anyway, there's these two. Lady Rohana, are those ridiculous hosters give you a hard time? You're so hopeless. Heh <laughs> lucky for you, I hit a bell you out. Huh? Huh? Who are you two? You don't seem like enemies, but... Huh? Wow, really? Just wow. I cannot believe you forgot about you, monster. Baruka, say something, damn it. Well... Oh, she's shy, isn't she? Baruka, is it? It's nice to meet you. That's heartless. You're heartless. A heartless monster. What? What? Why would he say that? Who are you people anyway? Hey. No. This is like one of the few times I'm happy to see Kamala. <laughs> okay, that's a joke. I actually do like Kamala in this game. Her character's a little weird, but she's amazing as a unit, so there's that. There you are, my naughty little retainers. Even though I said we were in a rush, there's no excuse to leave me behind. Big Ka sister? Kamala? Oh. Rohana, oh, I'm so glad we made it in time. Tell your big sister the truth. Did these foul creatures make you cry? Be honest. No. <laughs> of course not. I'm fine, I promise. Lady Camilla! Sorry we got ahead of you, but you should have heard the horrible things Lady Rohana said to us. Even though we used to watch Arthur, she doesn't remember us at all. Sure, we always stuck to the shadows and never introduced, introduced ourselves, but still. I could cry right now, really. I, I really, really, I really could. All the time hovering, caring, watching. It was all for naught. She has no heart. There, there. Now, now, you two. I'm sure she didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm certain she'd remember, given more time. You simply must forgive her. Now that, now that all that's settled, let me introduce my lovely retainers to you, Rohana. Say hello to Selina and Baruka. Aren't they tough yet adorable? I love them so. I see. It's nice to meet you. I mean, to see you both again. To see you again, I'm really sorry I upset you both. Wait, Camilla, if you're here, does that mean you've, you've finished the mission already? Yes. Haha, <laughs> one of the sons, Xander and Leo taking care of him for me. They really like the idea of coming to help you. That's our little secret, okay? Now I can destroy any nasty people who try to harm my darling baby sister. <laughs> That's sweet, if not a little scary. Thank you, Camilla, and you too, Selena and Baruka. I appreciate your help. Whatever! I guess I'll do my best to protect you or whatever. I'm still pretty angry though. Kill them all. I'll kill them all for Lady Camilla. Okay, so yeah, now we have some more units, which is good. Alright, so yeah. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use more dual strikes to kill off these dudes. So yeah, I'll unlock you. How much more do you have? You have five, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we'll put Silas here. We'll put Effie here. We'll see what the Pegasus Knights do. They could go for Chica, but 
it's not really a problem if that happens. Saying so, what we're gonna do here, we're going to insert these archers before they get on the ballista. And to do that, it's Kabila time. So yeah. We're gonna go here, and then we're gonna switch, and yeah, we'll get the iron sword. And then what's gonna happen is Baruka's gonna go visit this. What? Say so what? The town is caught up in the war between Nor and Hoshto? Bless, bless it all. What a pain of the two. Guess I'll hold up, hold up until things sell. Thanks for letting me know. Please take this with you. The Master Seal. Say, so, yeah, can't early promote units. There's some good candidates. Selena's actually one of them. Silas, maybe two, but my Silas I don't think needs to. So yeah. Okay. So here, I want to stay out of your range. The only problem is this guy overlaps. So yeah. What we're, what we're probably gonna do instead is we're just going to stay in this guy's range, and then I mean, you could visit. Um, get the hand axe going and all that, so yeah, that'll be good. That's probably what we're going to do. But anyway, and yeah, these Onis are going to go after Silas and Effie, so that's good. Um, what does Jake want to do? Um, probably heal up <laughs> off in a little bit, so yeah, we'll think about that. Um, we'll need, um, I think, yeah, we're going to move Muzu now, because she's going to deal with the reinforcements later. And then that will mean that Camilla and Baruka are going to fly around this general area and kill off these flyers. That's probably what's going to happen. So yeah. We can also do this, but yeah, I'm a little worried about how much damage we're going to do to Hinata. We do 28 damage to the Hand Axe. He has basically 19 defense. And also he might double this too, because we lower our speed with the Hand Axe. So yeah, we do have 14 defense, which is good basically, because of our power up. He does actually do a decent amount if he doubles us, which um, again, he, we need to lower our speed to 8, although we're not actually doing that. We're lowering our speed to 9, so technically he can't double us, so that's good. The question is, yeah, do we just go in right now? The only problem is we'll get defense debuffed, and that's kind of bad too, so yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we took care of those guys. And yeah, again, there's a lot to think about. Again, maybe it's just wiser to stay out of range of Hinata for the time being, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then yeah, we'll probably go in with Corrin, probably, or Rohan I should be saying, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, let's just kill those ninjas off. And yeah, maybe next turn I could go like for a one-shot on the ninja too, we'll see. But anyway, Azura, what does Azura want to do, I wonder? Um... Because yeah, she could dance with those two, so yeah. Which yeah, I guess I can do. Because yeah, now I can like go here. We'll see how those flies move. They might be able to catch the flies too, but anyway. Over here, these guys are gonna break this, so yeah. Now's the time to um maybe do a nice little separate here. Alright, do your worst. <laughs> And yeah, they will strength above us, but because I did the battle preps properly, we know that the ninjas is not one shot. Get one shot soon. And we've doubled the um, spear fighters with a bronze axe, so we should be able to one shot them too. I say should be because yeah, I'm a little bit unsure. But yeah, yeah, I think we do. <laughs> of course, we can't double the hand axe, which is why yeah, we're not killing this guy, but that's okay. But yeah, we could have Jacob do that as well. Anyway, yeah, we don't want shot these guys, but that's okay. So there you go. But yeah, another another dude's gonna come towards us though, which isn't great. This is a little painful, but yeah, we'll dodge. We'll heal up the damage, which is good. We actually get kind of close to killing. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Yeah, we can shoot down some of these fires, so that's good. Those reinforcers are a little bit nasty, so anyway, yeah. If I'm gonna kill this guy, we have to get into Hinata's range, which again, I'm not a big fan of doing that, but hey, we're not going to, um... Um... Anyway, here, this play. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trade the javelin. I'm gonna see if I can kill this dude like this. And I were you even trying? So there you go. 
Now, yeah, the only problem is, is killing the other dude. That's a good level up. Um, because, yeah, I definitely don't want to do it alone, so yeah. Maybe I'll just, like, parent her. Effie. I'll give her the bronze lance, and then, yeah. I think I should have done it the other way around. Yeah, I should have done it the other way around. I could also shelter too, that's probably smart, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I should have pet her. Never mind. Um, <laughs> another thing we can do is, yeah, either kill this dude. We can't actually kill the pet, but that's okay. But yeah, we can kill this dude with Jacob. Not the only thing about the flies is that they're annoying to us, so. Then, yeah, after that, we can just go ahead and do this. We a shield, which is nice. I'm still kind of worried about his personal skill, though. So, yeah, there's that as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do a smart thing. I'm going to kill this dude off with Jacob. There you go. If the Pegasus wants to go for him, I'm okay with that. And then, yeah, afterwards, yeah, I can do this. Get rid of this dude. Another thing we can do is... Maybe see if we one shot the dragon stone. The answer is definitely no. So yeah, let's. We can also use the bronze axe. It's not a bad idea because it's more accurate. We don't need the one to two range. Um, we don't double this dude anyway, but that's okay. But yeah, it keeps us more safe. So that's why I want to do it. So I'm gonna do that. And there we go. And justice was tasted. So yeah, there you go. Hmm. More strength's good. So yeah, there you go. Alright, so now what we're going to do. So yeah, now we're going to go for a nice dual striker, because I know this actually adds it to kill. Baruka has a nice person skill that does more damage to enemies you can't kill. So there you go. You took my target. So there you go. Now we're gonna kill this dude with Selena because with the malignant power bonuses, it's a nice. So there you go. Like I'd lose. And now what's gonna happen is is that yeah, we're going to use um Camilla to fly downwards. Probably with Bruce. So there you go. That went well. We'll shoot down that dude. We'll probably get quick draw on this set, which is awesome. Now, yeah, Odin, I guess he kills off this dude. Then afterwards, we'll probably pair to deal with the reinforcements, because, yeah, I think they're gonna have throwing clubs, so then, yeah, that's not gonna be good for these. How does well, how well does at least do? I think that's a kill, actually, because, yeah, 9, 18, 27. That might be worth it, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Likes the good talk. <laughs> she does take a lot of damage, but that's okay. Not bad. Not bad. Because Odin is the main tank anyway, so yeah. There we go. Now, yeah, what do we do with her? Um, they do have the bronze on split, which is cool. Um, again, Zora doesn't really like these dudes, so yeah, I'm probably gonna just stay out of range of them. What a tank. Maybe not. I'm gonna get this fight all I've got for Lord Taki. Prepare yourself! Ready for this? And we got the shield. Yeah. And there we go, do a lot of damage. But yeah, if you put him under half health though with a sword, axe, or lance, yeah, he's gonna have to go to Anyway. We can do this together. Heavy action now. Because yeah, again, I missed play last time. I missed playing a lot with them, I realize. This is not bad. That's just three damage. So yeah. There you go. That guy's ignoring us. All right. So yeah, we got a lot of those dudes coming towards us. So yeah. What turn is it? Turn five. Okay. So yeah. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> um, it could be Jacob time again. The only problem is Jacob will be in range of a spear fight. I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, I don't think, I mean, another thing we could try to do, yeah, we're not killing him from that range, so yeah. But yeah, I don't think we're going to stop and train the water, but that's okay. Anyway, technically we can kill him right now, but the problem is as well the accuracy, so uh, yeah. So you can kill off that dude, 
Foche again. Um, yeah, I can't kill this dude. I think this fuzz is just gonna bully Azura, which I don't like, but yeah. Again, I wonder if. Um, that is actually a kill. Interesting. But yeah, at the same time, maybe we need the help with Hinata. Another thing I could check too is how well the Dragonstone does. Because if that's gonna put him under half health, which is not good for him. So yeah, or Rohana. That's why maybe coming with a one shot might not be a bad idea. Well, so I need to check out the zero does. To it good. So yeah, that's not great. Um, again, we can do that. That could make the kill more reliable, potentially. Um, because then I can use the bronze axe instead. Question is, will we need help with the pick? Is the question. See ya. I'm thinking, how can we do this? Because we can use Baruka. Um, too bad she doesn't have a hand axe. Because I'm thinking, how can I make Camilla potentially keep moving? Um, I need to think about this guy. So, yeah. It's probably Selena gives. Um, Selena gives Camilla to Baruka. Camilla kills this dude. Then we can probably dance and kill this dude. That's probably the smart thing to do. So, yeah, I'm going to do just that. So, yeah. Transfer Camilla. Um, I guess use the Vonry just in case. Another thing that could happen is, yeah, we can fly down and kill this dude instead. And then we'll see what this person does. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't really reach over here. I mean, another thing, do we need to kill this guy? Yeah, we need to kill this guy this time anyway. So yeah, what I'm going to do instead is, is, yeah. Switch! Um, nah, I don't need to lunge. We're going to trade the Iron Axe because it's more accurate. Because, yeah, Camilla could use slightly better accuracy. Because she kind of is powerful, so yeah. There we go. We're also not using Baruch in this Aww. playthrough. If you want to see her though, she's in the practice playthrough though, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill this dude right now. And yeah, gotta level up with Azura too. You get that nice inspiring song. So yeah, now we're going to go for the Delta Storm and kill this dude. And gone. And yeah, if I want to, I can dance these dudes back up so they can kill the archer in four sense. Anyway. Another good level up. Quick draw, there you go. So yeah, that's nice. Now if I can kill these dudes, I'm probably going to be using um, Silas to do that. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to use the sword this time. And I want to move around and figure out what to do next. <laughs> now we can breathe easy. So because we did that, that means Jacob's free again. He might get in range of these dudes, which isn't great. But yeah. Uh, again, I would like all of them to just <laughs> go in on um, Arthur. So that's another reason why I want to go for the um, Iron Axe play. Then again, it does technically... Okay, it doesn't because of Armor Blow, so yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I also can't switch to Corrin potentially because yeah, I maybe could kill that way because um, that would end the turn. So yeah, the question is, do we go for that risky um, seventy hit? Technically, in this house would be something for Arthur if you had C rank. So uh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, also yeah, he would be killing with the bronze axe if he wasn't still strength. Well, the strength of the buff, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Uh, what to do? Does it matter if one dude... I mean, can this dude even, like... Let me check his name again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, it could be bad, but at the same time, these dudes are around, so maybe they can kill. You know what? Yeah, I'm actually going to do this. This is going to make the play more reliable. And yeah, I want the bronze axe cut because that's the most powerful weapon he has. Alright, let's go. 
Again. <laughs> Lots to think about. Anyway, now we don't need to worry about his personal skill anymore. HP and runs. Now I can go in with 80 hit this time. So yeah, let's do that. And there you go. But I guess I'll have to retreat. This isn't over. And yeah, this guy can go for. Um, they might also go for a dual strike, which would be really bad actually. So hmm, maybe that was a bad play. On my fault, but anyway. Odin, he can like um, chill around her because he's going to go for some good forces. Okay, not dual strike. Interesting. <laughs> So you can do that, and again I can dance and kill that dude with my arches, so yeah. And yeah, as we learned before, these guys get so yeah. So there you go. Ha ha! Another fly is coming towards us. There's also the double flyers, which I really don't like. And yeah, now, what turn is it? He's going to use the Vayne on turn 7. Yep, he's going to use it. That's okay. Anyway, these guys. I don't really like these dudes. Um, the paired up dudes, they hurt. So, um, I want to train health from them because they have the, um, I want to train health from them because, yeah, they have, what am I trying to say? Um, there's the dude in the back half. Steel Club 2. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the front Club dude, I think. Or do I? It's hard to say. I think I'm just gonna wait though. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm probably just gonna run. Hmm. Okay, so we have some interesting things here. Okay, so I can one shot that dude. And then Jacob can maybe go for a dual strike. He probably wants to heal instead though, is the thing. So yeah. Another thing we can do is once again. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Problem is, then those are done, so yeah. For anyone, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I think this is the play. Because yeah, then we can go for number one shot. There we go. So you won't stop the water train, but I think that's alright. It's not amazing, but yeah, it's better than nothing, I guess. He'll go for the Iron Lance, hope to get this one shot. I do not like 80 hits on the set, because yeah, the problem with this set though, because it's so tightly designed, one bad miss can ruin basically everything. Yeah. Aim more defense, that could be good or bad. <laughs> hey, you need to kill this dude with um, Camilla. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't kill from range, unfortunately, because if we could, then we could go for a dance, which would be amazing, but that's okay. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna kill this dude like this. And there they go. And he definitely wanted to be using Kabul on this map, that's the thing. Also, Archer's coming towards us, so uh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, they're gonna reach quite badly too, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, I probably will need to dance with these dudes, so I can go one, two, three. So I guess I'll put like a sort of here then. Alright, talk to me. So, also, um... Jacob too. Um, I guess what I'll do is, I'll put Jacob here, he can go for this um... Hey, it's that girl again. Oh dear, I've heard rumors out the warp, I never thought the reaches here. I'll lock up tight and keep the little ones indoors today. Here, please take this as a token of my gratitude, I don't need it anyway. The dual club. Which, um, yeah, once Arthur gets seed rank, he can use it, but yeah, most of the time it goes in the So anyway, we'll keep Arthur because he's good against that spit fight. Oh yeah, that happens, but that's okay. Let's go. Can't let you do that. So there's that. Now, yeah, this guy gets one round. And there he goes. <laughs> Victory is mine! And victory is mine. Level 12 now. 
Pretty good level up, although he got the fence, so that means the ninjas might not go for him anymore. Anyway, I want to take damage. Okay, I should. I'm gonna have to kill that dude right now. And yeah, um, so this is not what I wanted, but oh well. Because now I can't really go over and um. I'm trying to say. I can't really go over and just keep the situation over there, so yeah. And there's the dragon thing, drain the water. But yeah, I managed to stop this before, and that was mainly because I had more movement. But anyway, what are we gonna do? So yeah, I mean, it's a little bit late to do this, but hey. But yeah, I don't like the Mondasan crit. What's the 20 damage a lot? But hey, there's no other enemies near us, which is definitely a good thing, so yeah. Um, yeah, those guys though. The good thing is, is that, yeah, that was fun to do. Wonder I actually kills and gets shield, so, um, yeah, I think we want to do that. So, that is what I will do. And then that means that, yeah, Muzu and Niles can help out at the bottom, so yeah. We'll do that. Now the problem is, are these guys, basically. Now they're gonna come be coming towards us, but yeah, that's where Camilla could come in. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure, I mean, this guy will probably just, I think we'll just go for the Ballista then, which is kind of bad, but then we'll have a shield anyway. So you know what, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Actually, because I don't think we kill the dude is the problem. Yeah, there's a lot to think about again, so yeah. So what I can do is this, that's a kill actually, so that's good. Then, yeah. We should be able to kill that dude then, so uh, then I can get Boosie back moving, so yeah, that's cool. Give it a nice push. There you go. Much obliged. Very nice. Now, yeah, I can do this. Go for a nice dance. And he'll get you moving. You can also plug this. That might be better for a bulkier unit, so I'll think about it. Oh yeah, right. That guy. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you'll probably just go for... Um, Selena then. Yeah. Again, I'm not playing this perfectly. I can definitely play this a lot better. But yeah. <laughs> but I just get a lot of rookie mistakes here. Finally. So there you go. This is definitely a map that where if you practice it a lot, it becomes... Much easier, same way. I'm gonna go for this dude with the steel club because it's dangerous and he's injured. So there we go. Power overflowing. There we are. Now we get to level 12. More magic skill. More defense is actually pretty good too. Let's we'll see what those guys do and then yeah. Now is the time that we wait here with the Yano. Another thing we can do is the bronze sword. It does 18 damage. He has 33 health, so then yeah, then next turn you ought to come. Also, I'm wondering how half does. Half of one round. And, um, I mean, that's better, I think. <laughs> maybe if I had a dance, I could have maybe, you know, done that. But yeah, I was using Gazura, not good in my opinion, so yeah. Because yeah, then we can use the concoction he heals us up. So you know what? Arthur gets to come. <laughs> On my honor as a Prince of Hosha, I shall not fall upon Norin's blade. And yeah, because of the, the freaking luck boost I've been giving him, he doesn't suffer a crit shot, so there you go. No, how could this happen? Force for a tree again? And there's that serum. So there you go. You get the elixir. Now we have to deal with these enemies. Also, yeah, that. But we have a shield, so it's fine. That's something I thought you could do. But it's okay. If I knew that was... Actually, no. I could have already done anything about that, but it's okay. Okay, this guy just goes to Odin. That's good. We need to take a bit of damage, but it's okay. They're healing a lot of those, so yeah, that's nice. Those guys are more worried about now. Those guys are not left. Alrighty, so now, um, the problem is I don't think these guys hurt us anymore. Actually, um, 
they do. So that's good. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna kill all these ninjas right now. Which yeah, I can do from around here. So, hand axe, concoction. There you are. So now, yeah, can we actually one run this dude? Okay, yeah, we can. <laughs> that's the thing, nice. Yep. Unfortunately, though, I did get Kabula hurt for no reason, which is not good, so yeah. And now I'm gonna go over here. Now, yeah, the problem is, do we have enough bulk to take this? At half health. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the Iron Axe. Because I believe with that, she kills. Oh, bro, who should go for us? Um, we have 30 to attack with that, so yeah. We do 20 damage one point, so yeah, that'll be good enough. So yeah, let's do this kind of risky play. Also, yeah, there's more archers coming towards us, but luckily, um... You're gonna go for them, so yeah. Hopefully. So anyway. Yeah, let's go for this kind of risky play. <gasps> Dang, I don't think something was up when I heard all that commotion. I never thought, never thought this town would see war. Well, thanks for the heads up. Really, you might have saved my life. This is for you. Go on, exist. So there you go. Very nice. So yeah. Well, I should have done the... Yeah, I should have just blocked the ballista then. That would have been the smart play, but anyway. We can go for this. Let's do this. And kill that dude. <laughs> no hard feelings. So there you go. Now... So yeah, Iron Club, Throwing Club, but yeah, we want to kill the dude that's, um, low on health, because then, um, then we can't heal from him, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. These guys might also run away from us. How much defense do you have? Okay, they won't, probably. It does feel like, yeah, the AI does like to scurry towards the objective if near the end of the map. That's what it feels like to me. I don't think that's actually how they work, it's just, again. A feeling I have. Question is, do we do something with Jacob? Um, you can go ahead and heal um, Silas, which is cool, because we might need Silas help. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go here, I think. And here she is. I'll strike down anyone who dares lay such as a thing on Lord Tuckley. Unfortunately, that dude was on the other side of the map, so yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going Iron Axe here. Last time I used the Steel Axe. He look actually it did luck against Obro, but the problem was... I missed some other enemies, which was really bad. I must retreat. Forgive me, Lord Takumi. So there we go. Now, another annoying thing are the Throwing Club dudes. That guy, basically. Because, yeah, I need the full turn for that dude. The problem with doing that is then I can't really kill the text, so yeah. We have a lot to pick up here. The cyclist thing was normal, but yeah, I need to be very careful. So yeah. yeah we'll kill that throwing club dude. Um, yeah, we'll kill the throwing club dude. That's what we're gonna do. That guy's ignoring us. Alright, so yeah. It's time. So now, yeah, what Camilla needs to do now is she's actually getting blocked off, which is kind of but yeah, we can kill that dude. The problem is Mr. Throwing Club dude, so yeah. Um, she doesn't take damage either. And we can't switch to Baruka because otherwise... Um, can't switch to Baruka because otherwise... Um, bad things. <laughs> Let's just say. So yeah. I have a plan. So yeah, we're gonna get Silas back into the mix. And he's gonna plug that. This little space here. And for the time being, I'm going to put Slea there, even though that's probably not a good idea. But yeah, these guys, we'll see if they do anything. I could also use the Ballista. Um, I need to be a little careful though, and not hit my, you know, allies, but anyway. I can use it here, kill the Iron Club dude, probably. And yeah, it does hurt flyers more, as you'd expect, so that's nice. I mean, the only problem is that uh, Mozu might get attacked, which isn't great. But you missed the Throwing Club dude. Um, I wonder if I could just kill the Flyer. I mean, they're only on one health anyway, so... 
I can now one shot this dude, which is nice, even though he doesn't do damage. Okay, good. We missed, but we don't dull miss, so there you go. Glad that's over with. Anyway, the good thing is, these archers, they can't reach. For the time being. <laughs> They're gonna be reaching soon, so yeah, I need to be very careful with that. And Jacob, yeah, he's just gonna go back. For the time being. And these ninjas ignored us because we do have too much defense, so yeah. That's okay. We'll one shot them now. You know they can't deal with us. Again, if they see zero damage, they're not gonna go for you, so yeah. There's that. Now I'm gonna kill Mr. Throwing Club dude. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Like, I'll see at least kill him. <laughs> yeah, why not? Because she has another defense of the other dude following us, so yeah, there you go. This is basically the last serve yet, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, we'll be fine. Anyway, Mr. Throwing Club dude's back. Yeah, the Throwing Club dude's annoying. I think some of you have lunch on hard mode and no attack, which is really bad. You can also use, um, I think this side's basically cleaned up, so yeah, I might have at least fly over and try to help out. So yeah. That's a pretty good level up. And there goes the fly. So yeah. Okay, what are we gonna do? So I really wanna kill off these guys. Um we can't one shot them watching. I could try. Niles as well. He's a bit in I mean with the Delta stomach kills, so that's good. And yeah, probably enough I can put Selena here and kill that dude, but it's probably smarter to use um Actually, wait a minute. We need to kill off the them flyers off first. So yeah. Luckily though, I do have a killer. So yeah. So one thing I can do: kill off this dude. Um, then probably Camilla kills this guy with the undertone, so then we can actually fight these guys off. Um, can't unfortunately plug. Um, I mean, these guys, what turn is it? Turn 10, I think? Yeah. I don't think those archers going to do anything anyway, so let's just ignore them. So yeah, that means that, yeah, I can just kill this dude with, um, Selena. The paired up skies are definitely very annoying on this side. There you go. I'm the best. There you are. So now, yeah, I can one-shot this dude from over here. Not with the minister. I'm pretty sure that Niles could this I think next up I'll use Niles a little bit. Did I get stronger? Again, we're trying to aim for the support. We're not probably gonna get the B support, I don't think so. Yeah. I mean actually what I wanna do instead is um trade the javelin. And I'm gonna see if I can kill this dude with the javelin. And there he is. It's over. Now yeah. I'd mark the archers correct, yes. So, what I can do technically with Camilla is start using my Thunder Tome. The other dudes... Okay, there's a Steel Club dude. Although, yeah, she doesn't take much damage. The Iron Club dudes are just gonna run past, so yeah, anyway. Yeah, let's kill Mr. Throwing Club dude. Get him out of there. With the Thunder Tome, yeah. Camilla can use magic, even though she's not actually that amazing at it. I mean, kill him just for God's shield gauge. That's That was all time. But yeah, good thing is, I visited all the villagers. <laughs> yep, I did. And yeah, we're just getting some close. And yeah, you're not quite strong enough for that, dude. Like, I don't offer it, so yeah, for one of them, very nice. Ready for this? <laughs> I was just definitely. Just I was definitely like All Might on this set, let's just say, so yeah, a lot of people like to say he's All Might, so yeah, that's how I mentioned it. And, um... What does Odin do? He also lunged to do the round, but I don't think there's any point to. He actually does really good. You get... Um, he actually won't get deep up because he gets shields, so yeah. And then he'll actually go for Odin and probably get some guilt, so yeah, that's nice. So this actually works quite well, so you think that. You don't get Diva Diva, which is cool. We might miss though, because he won't have a Heart Seeker, because he's probably going to attack us from range. 
it's my guess. But anyway. Um Yeah, that isn't much I can do. <laughs> so yeah. Um I guess we can do this. We can heal up Musu. And yeah. Actually one ranges us the Trisco. Even though yeah, he should have two ranges because they need to get that hot Tough one. Anyway, that guy's gone. And here comes some steel clip dudes. And yeah, there's a couple of who had a H3 heart basically hex you on it because I was an idiot. She's still doing really good. Yup. Okay, this is actually still on the turn left. That's actually pretty cool. But anyway, um, we can't do much with it, unfortunately. I mean, we have a dance, so that's good. Um, so yeah, now I can dance for Muzu, which is nice. Do it against these guys. Actually. We get very close to one shot, but yeah, I think only Camilla can one shot them. We also have Jacob, unfortunately Selena can't do anything, which is a shame. These two can't do anything. We might actually be able to route this, but I don't think we have enough units is the problem. Okay, first off, how does Yeah you kill. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I should also remember that I think Rosa Swans. We can try using that with um, Camilla. Also Lunge, that's another thing too. <laughs> um, yeah, that's an Ironclad dude, we have to kill that dude, otherwise... Um, he won't count basically, so yeah. With the Rosa Swans, we might be able to kill this dude. We can actually kill him with the Trevor, in fact, so yeah. So that means that we want to use Camilla here with the Iron Axe. So there you go. Now there's a chance for Sias to one-shot with the chip. So yeah. And yeah, that's pretty good odds, so I'm gonna go for it. There you go. Now we can breathe easy. Now we can dance for Mozu and route this map. So yeah, there you go. That's how we do it. And actually, yeah, I can get this kill to now, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even with the hind dog. But yeah, it's better to use the um, Delta Storm because it's slightly more accurate. There you go. We route all the enemies on chat the Tunnel Conquest. Somehow, despite my kind of question of playing sometimes, so yeah, there you go. Disappointing. That was not this one. <laughs> but hey, Arthur was definitely the MVP though. Because yeah, he killed all the ninjas for us, he killed um, Takumi for us, yeah, no doubt in my mind who the MVP was. And unfortunately I can't get Dancing for Zero, but that's okay. I at least got a And yeah, I'll do this to taunt myself. There it is. Actually, it was at least an Odin with the work on the Onis. Damn it! This is unacceptable. We can't push forward. Some of our injured. This can't be happening. Listen. Please, as Teresa reason talk to me. You have lost this battle. Do your soldiers do your soldiers a favor and order to retreat from this port immediately? You may all keep your lives and your dignity if you leave now. Uh huh. <laughs> How very generous of you, this sister. But I know better. The savage Dorian army knows nothing of mercy. Perhaps you should take this as a lesson to not d judge all Norians of face value. I spoke the truth. My soldiers do not harm those who do not seek to harm us. What? Ha! Tell me, Rohana, how is it lies come so easily to you? Your words mean nothing in light of all the innocent Hoshan lives you took. Including that of our dear mother. Why have you forgotten your partner, mother? Yet, after all that, you still have the gall to claim you are a savage? Pathetic. Oh? My, what a rude little boy you are. I should beat some manners into you. Take back what you just said. Well, that's exactly what I'll do. No. No, Camilla, he's entitled to his anger. I'm at least partly to blame for the tragedies that took place that day. <sighs> that, that's right, if you hadn't come back into our lives, Hosha would still be at peace. Mother, all those innocent townspeople, they, they would all still be alive. They wouldn't have... Ah, uh, no! Huh? Talking what's wrong. <sighs> My head, the pain is... Uh. Talk to me? Yeah. Don't you touch me! 
keep your filthy Nori hands off of me. Tuck me. Tuck me, please let me help. <laughs> Don't think this scene's even one. This is only the beginning. Ryoma's already found the Rainbow Sage and received his power. You're no match for him now, even with the va whole vile Norian army behind you. And I'm getting stronger too. Soon I'll be unstoppable. One day you'll beg me for death, and I'll happily grant it to you. Until then, I will leave you with your guilt. Uh. Talk me, wait. Uh. Let him go, Rohana. He's clearly got issues. And not to brag, but Xander received the Rainbow Sages part ages ago. If we sit together, there's, there's no way we'll lose the Hoshin army. Yeah. Hope you're right. You know. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it looks like the fairies are picked up and running again. Let's get out of this dump and head to Notre's address. I'll even tell you a fun story I made up about two calipers on a little leaf boat. <laughs> Thanks Elise, you got yourself a deal. In any case, I need to put this all behind me and focus on the task at hand. If what father says is true, I'll be facing Hoshton forces in Notre's address as well. There's no time to overthink things. No time for guilt or regret. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. So there you go, that was chapter 10. I feel like, yeah, with that map, having knowledge of it extremely helps. It is one of those maps that, yeah, you might find yourself repeating over and over to get a good clear on. Like getting all the, um, um, getting all the, um, achievements and stuff, like the villagers, maybe trying to kill off some of the important enemies on the map. That's just what comes to me, but yeah, it is a very rewarding map, though. That's why it feels so much fun. But anyway, we did get an ace for the office, that's good. We got Jacob and Silas C. We got at least an own A, so we're on that way to that. We didn't actually get, um, oh yeah, right. <laughs> they have an ace for don't they? Yup, so yeah. Next battle potentially we get an S for. And then Kabana Baruka, that's actually a good support to remember, so yeah. Because of Baruka's reclass, but anyway. First off, let's do some um, post battle preps. We'll probably do the Arthur support. Actually, no, I'm gonna say that for later. And milk, once again. <laughs> See, if Arthur is in the private course, then yeah, we probably definitely want to pick him. So, yeah. Uh, sure, pretty obvious why, but anyway, at this point. <laughs> Anyway, let's um, bet another sapphire. Uh, help. They really want to pick these two, don't they? Yeah, that's not a bunch of mess, but oh well. There you go. I won't forget but yeah, I guess another thing about chapter 10 too isn't my favorite defend map part to say, really, because again. It's definitely one of the most challenging, and that's definitely a good thing. Of course, another good thing about defend map is plot relevance. I think compared to some of my favorite defend maps, it doesn't have that, but it's still pretty cool. But anyway, let me see. Because yeah, I could save my Dragon Rain points, because all these are not necessary at the moment, so yeah. I might do that, because yeah, we might want that level 2 armory, you might want that level 2 star stall when it becomes available, all that good stuff, so yeah. And also the level 2 material stuff and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, we also have some units to talk about too, I think I'll also do some like iron prep too. Anyway, what I'll do is I'm gonna now combine the heal stars together, so there we go. At least it'll be fine for the time being. Uh, we could get the frying pan to offer now, probably. Put away the elixir. He has C right now, so that means he can use the dual club, and he probably wants it more for the time being than Camilla. Because Camilla's mostly going to be a support unit for the next couple of mats, because I don't have to personally want to pair with it. So yeah, we could also try to get that Baruka support, but yeah, I don't think we need to. It's kind of extra. It's not something we need to go after if we don't want to, so yeah. So that's enough, you should be getting the uh, S rank next map, hopefully. And then, yeah, Odin and um, Elise are going to be working on those. Um, these who didn't, that's okay. Um, you'll actually come close to a level up and also C rank. We'll see what we can do about that. Yeah, Alf is in a good place. Camilla, we'll see what we can do with her. We can also Portra and Iron Axe so she destroys everything, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> um, 
Selena. Don't know if I want to use the next map. We'll see about that. Ruka, yeah, she doesn't have anything. Um, okay, I think mean, this is good for now. So, anyway, um, do we do support now? Yeah, I think we'll do support now. Then we'll talk about the units. So yeah, what did we get? So we got Jacob. Um, yeah, let's start with this support. So Jacob and Silas. Oh hi, Jacob. How are things? Silas, caught on some new fool's errand of mercy, I trust. How did he know? It's clear on your face. You have the look of a man acting selflessly. I'm surprised that philosophy hasn't worn you down to a husk of a man by now. Say what you want, I know, hero. Yet you've never met a he never met a sob story you wouldn't hear in full. Well, you have me there. The more you listen, the more spellbound you become. Until you've weighed more weighed down by the until you you're more weighed down by the problem that, than its actual suffering. Am I wrong? Not exactly. Well, this sounds to me like the very definition of a hero. My condolences. Uh, he's got me dead to right. So you go. That will give Jacob Cavalier, which he already has, and Silas um, Troubadour, which I don't think he needs, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do Camilla and Baruka soon. The relationship between these two is kind of interesting. We might see in this support. It might be a later support there. Anyway. Hello, Baruka. Hey, Camilla, do you have an assignment for me? For the moment. I simply wanted to chat with my darling Retina. Is that an order? <laughs> so called Baruka. I always obey your orders, of course. I know my place. But if there's no assignment, I would rather not waste time talking. Oh, in that case, I formally order you to bide a while and talk. I'm not a good conversationalist. <laughs> I know that full well, dear Baruka. Would you, would you rather I had you do something to amuse me? I'm an assassin, not a court jester. Oh dear, have I upset you? I only tease because I love dear. Surely you understand. I won't know. Ho oh, ho, what would I do without you? Just there you go. Now I got some A support, so at least an Odin A. Hi Odin! Uh, I mean, I now approach the one called Odin Dot. <laughs> there, Princess of Twilight, I hear your cry. You used to speak with Odin Dark. So be it, but I must warn you to beware the shabby depths of ears and eyes. For the night in inevitably destroys the day, like pure ivory sand of Washington onyx tide. Yeah, yeah, I will. Like a diamond soul wandering in the middle of a desert. It wanders up the sacred summer until the spears of Agni pierce its heart, right? You're exactly right. But are you sure you're okay, Lady Elise? Huh? What do you mean? Am I doing it wrong? No, it's just if you speak with the tug of darkness, will you be shunned? Oh, don't worry about it. I need to speak with the dark tunnel whatever around you. Besides, he might said these things to other people. I think they'd just be confused. <laughs> I suppose that's true. But who cares about what other people think? Let's keep Odin talking. I just love all the wonderful stories you tell. They're so whimsical and cool. Aren't they, though? Aren't they so heroic and inspiring? Elise, you're just... you're great. That This is why you're the beloved Princess of Nor. Teehee, thanks. Enough of that, though. When are you going to tell me about your 13th Demon Blade? Ah yes, good old Righteous Fury, one of my favourites, though, though it's truly a cursed blade. They say the wielder is possessed by a dark magic where the blood red moon rises. No really? Tell me more. Yeah, these two now get along extremely well, and yeah. We'll try to get the s for even though it'll cause Odin to go to jail, but anyway. Hello Arthur, how did the fire truck go? Later or harder, just the person I was hoping to run into. As promised, I drank myself in water before the drill. It was a huge success. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I had a bad feeling something might happen with the wildfire. <laughs> I'm so glad I said something. The wildfire? What do you ever- whatever do you mean? This has nothing to do with the fire. No? Then why you soak yourself in water as success? In su a success? Well, we conduct the trip by the river. Safety first, as I always say. <clears throat> Remember your advice, I went to the river's edge to jump in before we start. That's when I slipped on some mud and fell face first into the water. I really shouldn't be surprised, but I'm still confused. How was the day of success? Allow me to finish. The room I fell into had some remarkably swift rapids. I pride myself on being the best swimmer in town, but it was too much for even me. Good grief, go on. Well, unfortunately for me, I wasn't the only thing fighting the rapids that day. It rained heavily the night before, so the river was full of rocks and broken branches. 
Every stroke was accompanied by searing pain. It really pushed my limits. However, I didn't lose heart. It's important to keep you cool in emergency situations. With the fear of a thousand sharks pulsing my veins, I fought with all my might. Though sh through sheer grit and determination, I somehow made it safely back to shore. All of the villagers gave a huge round of applause when I surfaced. They said it was even more exciting than the wildfire. Best show they have seen in years. <sighs> It's a mad world, Lady Rohana. One must always be vigilant. Without your advice, I would have never had the chance to test the waters, if you will. I'm the only chance to grow, so I'll surely be coming to you for advice more often. I'm quite sad this marks the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I'm happy to help, Arthur. I guess. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm more than okay. I'm on top of the world. You really are my lucky star. Thanks, I think. So there you go. That was a funny support. Alright, let's go check out the private cores and see if, um... So we got Lee, Selena, and Soyuz. <laughs> I'm working towards this A spot, apparently, so here we are. I want to get stronger so I can protect the people I love. Like you! So there you go. Alrighty, so yeah, now, yeah, let's talk units. Yeah, this is gonna be a long part, but anyway. First off, let's talk about Selena. So Selena is a very weird unit because her stats and growth rates. But first off, yeah, we should mention something kind of important. She is, um, Severa from Prime Awakening. And yeah, I actually quite like her, to be honest. Um, Severa is a character that took a long time for me to like. In fact, I'm probably still a little bit iffy on her. But... I wouldn't say I hate her, like I did before, <laughs> because yeah, I can't just find her annoying, but nowadays, I think she's actually pretty cool, especially in this game, because yeah, I feel like this is a Severa that's really matured and stuff, but anyway, that's character stuff, I do like her character, and that's one of the main reasons why I like using her, because as a unit, she's kind of strange. Her base stats are okay, she's kind of fast, which is definitely a good thing, but she kind of lacks in power, it doesn't really help that she uses swords, a heretically low might um, weapon type, and also the fact that yeah, she doesn't have the best strength, and her strength growth is low-ish. In fact, we'll go over her growth rates now because it hides oh, another thing about her. She has 50 HP, 45 strength, 5 magic, 45 skill, 60 speed, 35 luck, 55 defense, and 35 res. She's also bulky. That's another thing about her too. So um, what do we do? So keeping her as a mercenary might not be the best idea. Unless you've really got some kind of good pairing for her, maybe like Corrin, for example. But yeah, there is something we can do though. Um, one is an early promotion. You can make her a Bow Knight, because doing that of course gives you um, the extra stats, a mount, and also bows. They might only be E rank, but bows have good power, so that'll make up for her kind of strength. And of course, this actually gives us some nice niches, like in chapter 10, and also um, in the next set too. So yeah, that's one good thing, but there's another good thing too. Luckily for her is her support. She has a A plus support with both Camilla and Baruka. So that means she can get Wyvern. And Wyvern is a class that will really suit her well. It will make her even bulkier. It will complement her good speed with some nice strength and also some good skills too. Strength plus two, getting that immediately is going to help her out greatly. So yeah. Especially because, yeah, she already has a nice skill in Strong Repose, so yeah. She basically gets like plus 5 damage when she has a Hand Axe then, which is really cool. Once you get those at least, because yeah, you're gonna need to work on that. You can also work on the Lance Run, because there's another cool thing about her. Being a character from Awakening, her recast is interesting. It's Sky Knight. There's some cool things you can do with this. I wouldn't use this as an actual good option, because she's not gonna hit very hard. The problem is, yeah, she's gonna be hitting like a Wet Noodle. Is the problem. And her magic isn't good enough with Falcon Knight. So what you want to do then is um, either get the skill, either get the class of someone else, there's another mercenary you get, and that mercenary actually combines well with Rally Speed, which of course is the Falcon Knight level 5 skill. That's the main use. I wouldn't really go Falcon Knight, instead I'd rather go Wyvern, because it seems to suit the stats better. So yeah, there's that. And then finally is a very bad personal skill. I've never seen this one activate. Um, 
And I've heard, I haven't really heard people say it at Maple Dunn either. This is Fierce Rival. So basically, you need to be dual striking, and, she, and she needs to be the unit in the back. And basically, if the unit in the front with the dual strike crits, she also crits. Um, which, uh, yeah. That sounds good, but the problem is, is if you're creating something, they're probably dead. Especially if you're using a Killer Axe or a Killing Edge, considering those are times 4 damage. So, uh, yeah. I don't think Selena's probably going to be adding that much more damage. So, yeah. Not a very good personal skill, but that's okay. I find it really interesting. I used her in my last full playthrough. I'm, I'm actually using her in my practice too, because again, I like her character a lot. I'm not using her in this playthrough, but she has a very interesting role to fulfill. So yeah. You'll see what that is. It doesn't involve a fine though, so yeah. So there's that. <laughs> again, she's really interesting. Maybe, um, again, we'll see what she can do in the practice playthrough. Again, I'm thinking the Wyvern route, because again, that will make her a really fun unit. Anyway, time for Baruka. So, Baruka is a Wyvern Rider, and I've heard Baruka being described as, what if you made Wyvern Riders balanced? Because a, because her stats are, um, yeah, again, they're not, um, amazing. She's definitely not an offensive powerhouse like a lot of Wyverns are, and also like, well, um, Kabula, but anyway. <laughs> she mainly focuses on skill and defense, so you kind of see that with her um, base stats. But the good thing is, is that while her stats aren't amazing, I guess you can go for her growth rates too. Again, I guess also base stats, again, she's kind of slow, but she does have decent bulk, and her strength isn't terrible. It is at least stronger than Elise, so the other stuff. Um, she's also like one level off an early promote, which she could do, but I think. Making her a long term yet might be better. But anyway, let's go over growth rates. She has 55 HP, 45 strength, 15 magic, 65 skill, 40 speed, 50 luck, 60 defense, and 25 res. Yeah, she's supposed to be an accurate but kind of bulky wyvern, which is alright, but again, she's no offensive powerhouse. But what can we do to fix her? Um, one thing that's kind of nice is her reclass, Fighter. The main reason to go with Fighter is to pick up Axe for. And probably some other nice skills too, because you have Fire Dark Horse against Berserker, and then she can get Axe from that. But she can also pick up some nice, other nice skills like HP Puff Side to make her bulkier, and even maybe Rally Strength to combine with Rally Defense. That's a kind of fun build to use as well. Of course, you can also go Malik Knight when she's high leveled to just pick up Trample, then go back to Wyvern. That'll also boost her damage. So yeah, she has a lot of ways to boost her damage, which makes up her kind of low strength. She has some other uses too, and it's thanks to her class. Of course, she can marry someone and give the Wyvern Rider, which is extremely good. There's a lot of units who would love this class, like maybe Silas, for example, maybe Arthur, for example, and many more units to come, so yeah. <laughs> Say there's that. And also, another good thing is the support of Camilla. While Baruka doesn't gain anything from it, she gets Dark Mage, which isn't good. Camilla does, she gets Fighter, and that means she can go Berserk and get um, Axe for okay. <laughs> Say there's that. She has some uses. She's not like the most amazing in the world, but if you do put in the work, she can become a very interesting unit in her own right. And also, she has a fun personal skill too, with some decent uses. Opportunist. When attacking a foe can't fight back, this unit inflicts plus 4 damage. So yeah, that's a good skill. Um, that means she does more damage at hand axes against 1 range foes, and if the enemy is 2 range foe like an archer, she does a little bit more as well. And again, stacking damage is always a nice thing on a unit like this, who isn't the fastest and doesn't hit the hardest, so yeah. And of course she can tank too, which could be nice. Being a flyer isn't bad, she's not really to beast killing, so that could also be quite nice. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting things about Baruka. So yeah, a fun unit, she is being used in the practice playthrough, but not this playthrough. I don't have a use for in this playthrough. And then finally, Camilla. What do I have to say about Camilla that has already been said? She's considered the best unit in this game, and that's saying a lot, because um, there's a lot of good units in this game. But yeah, there's a lot of reasons why she's considered the best. The main one is how early she joins, and how strong she is. Because yeah, look at those base stats. Compared to like Arthur, for example. Compared to like Rohada, for example. She is way ahead of them. So yeah. Quite, quite a powerful unit, that's what I'm sure. Um, and it gets better, because again, she flies around. 
And also her experience gain 2 is also really good. Despite the fact that she's a pre-promote, she gains experience slightly quicker than most pre-promotes. So that also really helps her out too. And of course, her class is actually pretty good too. She already has strength plus 2 and lunge. I haven't been using lunge that much, but it does have its uses. It's just that we haven't really been... I haven't really felt... I had many opportunities to use her basically, so yeah, that's why I haven't really. But yeah. Of course, strength plus 2 is also great, and she has that massive strength group. She also has good weapon ranks. She can even use magic a little bit too, although her base magic is kind of low. Her growth rate, while well, good, it probably doesn't uh, patch it up really. So yeah, I'd probably stick with strength because the strength growth is gigantic. So yeah. She also has another amazing asset, a personal skill, which is Rosa's Fawns. Grants adjacent allies plus 3 to damage dealt and minus 1 to damage taken. This is a less personal skill in a gauge. And yeah. You already know how good that person skills, and yeah, Camilla is also just as good, especially because she's a mobile unit as well. And yeah, get those base stats. She's basically Ha from Radiant Dawn in this game. So yeah, let's go. Her growth rates, which are also amazing. She has 40 HP, 65 strength, 40 magic, 60 skill, 60 speed, 25 luck, 45 defense, and 60 res. Only really bad stat is a luck, and yeah, that's not a good stat anyway. So uh, and she already has a decent base 12. So yeah. There's so much to love about this unit. Her character's a little weird, like I said before, but hey. Anyway, her reclass is a little iffy. It's Dark Mage. The only reason to go Dark Mage is mainly for Heartseeker. Once she gets that, her accuracy will be no problem at all. So yeah, that's something I can recommend doing. Of course, though, she really wants Fighter. So either marrying or friendship with Baruka is something I highly recommend doing with Camilla. Because then you can get even more use out of her. And yeah, this is a unit that I think you can't beat the game without. At least that's what it feels like to me. I've always used Camilla in a play for a conquest because yeah, she's the stand point. She helps in so many different maps, and yeah. She just flies around and does stuff. Anyway, her class is also good. It's gonna learn Savage Blue at level 5, which is a very fun skill. And again, it actually kinda ties into her being more of a support unit too, because yeah, at this point. She's basically like a guard shelf rebun because I don't have the person she's paired with yet. And yeah, I want to try prioritizing gain kills with other units, so yeah, there's that. Um, and yeah, and then of course, level level 15, they get trample, and then yeah, once she gets that, she's gonna be an absolutely amazing force of destruction. So yeah, I love this unit a lot. Definitely one of the more fun units to use in the skin too. Again, despite the fact that again, I don't think a character's the best, but anyway. There we are, very long part, but I think because this is chapter 10, it makes a lot of sense. So anyway, with that all done, next time we're going to be taking on chapter 12. So yeah, look forward to that. And, oh yeah, I guess to mention what we're going to be in chapter 12, we're going to be going to see the Rainbow Sage. As it's going to see here. So yeah, we're going to go and beat him, and then we're going to see what that's all about. So yeah, and we're also going to have more of a breather map when compared to that last one. So yeah. Look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.